Hello. Hi guys, how's it going? Hi. Thanks for taking the time out to talk to me and uh, congrats on the second season. I know it's been a long time coming, but we're glad she's back. <laughs> Good to see you again. Um, so my first question is for Zendaya. So um, Euphoria is one of the better examples on TV I can think of where there's like so much queerness in the storylines and the characters and also in the cast. Can you talk about continuing to bring that kind of representation to a popular critically came show, especially since, you know, it's not about coming out or sexuality or like any other things uh, typical queer inclusive TV shows are about. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, what I've always appreciated about Euphoria is um, they just allow the characters to be in love um, and figure that out as they go and make mistakes and they're flawed and there's nuance and there's um there's depth to who they are and they love each other and they hurt each other and 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 I, and I think it without emphasizing or over emphasizing anything for any political reason or statement it just allows them to just um exist and to love each other in whatever complicated form that takes and I think that that is something I always felt uh was really beautiful about about rules about um about euphoria you know um mm. i don't know I, I don't know if hunter you have anything to add to that as well yeah uh, no i mean uh i i i, I take the, the really similar perspective i mean i think uh um beyond uh and I, I think like labels and trying to ensure that it fits into something is can be like kind of stifling to uh, real feelings and uh, real, uh, you know, like expressions of oneself, which are much more fluid and like amoebic than you can ever fit into like one singular label. And so like leaving that shit out um, and just kind of letting the characters be um, is, uh, I think, what makes it feel magical, at least to me. Mm. That kind of leads into my next question for you, Hunter. Jules is mm -hmm. one of my favorite characters on TV right now. I love that she gets to be like regular, messy, horny, emotional teen, <laughs> which is something a lot of trans characters don't often get to be on TV. Mm -hmm. They have to be, they're usually like, you know, pillars or like shining stars are perfect beyond like unbelief. Do you love Jules's mess and getting to bring that to the world? Because I love Jules's mess. I do. I absolutely do. As much as it like, like you know, there's there's conflict within me for sure. As someone who like, you know, also like, uh, wants Rue and Jules to be together and and you know happily forever after. Um, uh, I think it, there's also beauty in like ugliness and in the mess uh, that. Uh, I think this show is good, like at exposing within its characters, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, like I don't want to watch TV about people being good people. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to see only that one side of them that they show most of the world, and um, and uh, yeah, I think that's why I I like trust this show to handle a character. Uh, or characters like um, Rue and Jules, or just all of the characters, is because um, it uh, it illuminates um, not only the beauty but also the ugly, um, and lets it all create some corn, some kind of like weird, fucked up, gorgeous mess that uh, makes the show what it is, and that's pretty parallel to life, you know. Love that. Next yeah. question for Dominic, because we haven't heard from you yet. <laughs> um, since you're the newbie on the team, I was wondering what was it about Elliot that drew you to the character and how daunting of a task was it to be joining this cast of, you know, the show is already so beloved and talked about next to Hunter Lee Schaefer and Miss Zendaya. <laughs> oh man, that was the best part. No, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy reading the, uh, the script for the first time and hearing, I mean, seeing the words and like resonating so deeply. I don't know. Uh, I didn't expect it, but I was talking about this earlier. I'm really glad that it happened because I'm not sure if like I could have stepped into just like anyone's role or anyone's shoes or just played something entirely different from who I am. It actually made it a lot easier. And so did these two, like working with them was probably best case scenario. I've been told that other sets are like, that this is a very different show because I haven't done anything else. 
Mm. But uh, they made it so easy for me. And I'm really grateful I got the opportunity. Love that. That's a good debut. <laughs> right? Love it. So um, question for all of you. The friend group is so iconic and chaotic at the same time, and there's so many personalities. Would you be friends with your Euphoria character in real life? Why or why not? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all y'all um in, in your respective roles i think i don't know maybe maybe that's just bias because i i you know i've grown to love all the characters in their own way um but uh but yeah yeah i think um i don't know maybe we as people would be good for them maybe i generally try to or you know don't hang out with high schoolers aside from my two younger siblings but uh but i bet they would be fun if i was also a high schooler yeah it's a good rule help. and uh, i guess just to wrap things up obviously euphoria has a stacked cast there's so much talent who have done so many other amazing product tv shows if you could be a part of another cast member's tv or show or whatever project mm -hmm. who and what would it be and why <laughs> i want everyone to answer this <laughs> Right. Sopranos, because it's my favorite show. And I just want to talk like a wise guy. <laughs> um, so castmates though, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm a huge Grey's Anatomy, oh. so I knew uh, um, Eric Dane from that. Wow. Um, so yeah, I want to be on Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Back in the day though, you know, when yeah. I, Still there. Uh, yeah. Let's make it Wait, shows? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Not Sopranos then. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say Grace Anatomy too. I mean, yeah, that show ruined my life for like two months. <laughs> I'll let you read your redo yours, Dominic. Well, I can't be in Grey's Anatomy. I just don't fit in there. I have, to, I have to be like a thug in Spider Man. That's like my own. <laughs> that that like works. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Let's make it happen. That's all the questions I have left for you guys. But thank you so so much again, and congrats! I can't wait for more people to see it. Thank you so thank much. You. Hi guys, how's it going? Hi. Give me that shirt, Rafi. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you can have it after me. <laughs> thank you guys so much for taking the time out to talk to me. I got to watch uh, you season two earlier and. I just congrats again. It's good to have you all back. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Just to start things off, um, my first question is for you, Coleman. So um, your from your filmography is iconic, and I think you have so much range. First of all, <laughs> um, you. Ali tries to be a real mentor and support system to Rue, especially in a world that is filled with to brim with like craziness. What was it like bringing that kind of like you know that stability and accountability to the wild wild world of euphoria, especially with these kids running wild doing whatever the hell they want? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> you know what? It's actually pretty. Um, it feels very meaningful and impactful and mindful. He's a very he's someone who's ex, who's gone through all the places, those dark places that Lou is on her way to. So I think that he can hold that space for her to actually you know that grounding, gentle space. For a person to just be um, hold themselves accountable for whatever they're doing, to say I don't judge you, yeah, I think I think it's nice. I feel like it's funny with all the as the show has been amplified. I've gotten so many messages on social media and everything. People wanting an Ali in their life. I feel like everybody needs an Ali in a way. Somebody says I don't judge you. Tell me every tell me all the fucked up shit you've done. Yeah, and, and I'll just say okay, cool. I'll just ask why are you doing it. We'll just try to go to a deeper, deeper place. And so you can understand yourself and then you can make some choices that are actually mindful. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna, if you wanna do drugs, I wanna know that you know why you wanna do drugs. Or if, you, <laughs> if you, wanna get, so you wanna get clean, this is the reason why. But it's somebody offering you choices, not telling you which way to go, but offering you that you have choices. You don't just have to run into the wild. So I, I'm very blessed to play a role like Ali. And I love his uh, grounding force and his simplicity. And, I, and Sam writes towards not only my character, but all these characters in such a complex way. It's a, it's a joy. That if we could all have an Ali in our lives, that'd be great. <laughs> Maybe the world would be a better place. Yes. Yeah. And also, uh, another question for you, Coleman, just speaking as a member of the community, Euphoria is filled to the brim with lots of different kinds of queer experiences, characters, and cast members. 
is this the kind of show you wish you had when you were younger and what's it like getting to be a part of a show like this nowadays where oh you kidding? I, I wish i had a show like this to watch these characters who are so full and their experience in being and smashing gender tropes and all these other things and you feel like oh i can identify with that person and that person i can be who i want to be and to honest, honestly to I, the idea of even having characters who are openly gay play you know play a character like mine you know, you, you know what i mean in many mm -hmm. ways i think i think that is kind of new in a way you know what I mean? you know so i think that i think that i really wish i had a, a show like this and i'm glad that young people have a show like this to find ways of being ways of living um and also look at something that's affecting not only um young people um in an enormous way but affecting all of us in our culture which is um the disease of addiction more shows like this please <laughs> more yeah. more yeah yeah and storm what I love most about Euphoria is how many different female perspectives there are on the, in the show, especially in like the sisterhood between Rue and Gia. Can you talk about getting to come back and play up that dynamic, especially since it's so complex and so nuanced and so complicated uh, alongside uh, Miss uh, <laughs> Emmy winners and Dea? <laughs> no big deal. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really cool to be a part of, um, to be a, a part of this show as a whole. But I mean, I, th I think the, the relationship we we see between Gia and Rue is an important relationship because it it goes to show that addiction and mental health um, it doesn't just affect that one person and affects the people around them, especially the people closest to them. So I'm thankful for Sam creating this family dynamic, even though it's not perfect and it's messy all the time. We just get to see her be around the people that love her the most and that care about her the most. And I mean, working with Z is, is obviously a, a, a dream. Um, and again, I think it's just really important to continue to depict situations and characters and people um, that are going through these real life hard circumstances. And, and the fact that I, I get to be a part of something that is so meaningful and is so representative of people's lives and everyday experiences is really cool. Um, so I'm a, I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love seeing it. <laughs> and uh, Nika, there's a lot of teen dramas out there where the parents are almost kind of like non-existent. <laughs> but at least Leslie is in Rue's life and trying to get her the help she needs. Can you talk about playing and bringing back that mother dynamic with uh, Storm and Zendaya, especially since like uh, her dynamic too is with Rue is also very complicated, very nuanced. There's a lot of trauma and history behind the two of them. The show definitely has a lot of trauma and drama. <laughs> like that's definitely, like we are definitely on trend with that. And I think specifically for my character, Leslie, you know she she has to be present you know uh you know it, it's euphoria is not like another teen show you know you have a, a young girl you know going through addiction and anxiety and depression and loss of her father it, it would kind of not serve the story if if there wasn't some kind of um parent figure in her life myself leslie um ali's character as his as her sponsor so you you need that that grounding to make it real right because there's no way a 16 year old is going to be just running wild unless she's mm -hmm. in foster care or orphan but she does have a support system which kind of makes it more real and more sad because it's like you have people rooting for you to get healthy you have a, a sister that you're close with who wants you to be you know sober and clean and so i think having that fi family dynamic is essential to the story and, and i'm glad that sam writes such beautiful characters and season two is just going to be it's going to be more drama mm -hmm. and drama but you know we're going we gonna to push through we're going to push through mm -hmm. oh i love mess so i love seeing all this uh, just to wrap things up on a little more fun note, uh, the friend group in the show is are so iconic and chaotic and there's so many different personalities. Do you think you'd be friends with your referred character in real life and why or why not? <laughs> wait, wait, this question for everyone. Again? Repeat that again. Would you be friends with would you be friends with your euphoria character in real life? Why or why not? And this is for everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, would, cool. I would hang with Ali. Yeah, I would hang with him. Ali is a lot of fun. 
I feel like he know he knows he shoots pool. He probably goes to the mm-hmm. you know go, he go some meets or something. I don't know. He does cool stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be friends with Gia for sure. She's quiet, but like I don't think mm-hmm. we've seen her in her her prime yet. We don't really her know her, her turn up, whatever that <laughs> looks like for her. <laughs> um, no, but I think I think she's cool. She's 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 complex and she has a lot of layers. But I think once you peel back those layers, she's she's really cool. Yeah, I I would definitely want to be friends with Leslie because I need to shake I need to shake Leslie some Leslie, <laughs> Leslie needs a friend to, to shake her and, and hug her shake and hug shake and hug. Okay. You gotta tell her to put on her uh, freakum dress and go out to the club. Yeah. <laughs> dress, yes, Leslie, go get you a man, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, Ruin Gia can have an auntie who like uh, talks some sense to them or something. Oh yeah, we, we Leslie isn't that. <laughs> Well, that's all the time I have left, but thank you guys so, so much again. I can't wait for Mopi to see it and congrats. I, you far as like my you favorite choice. It's an honor to talk to you all. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.